What is up everyone? Tonight I have my old Celestron 8SC out and it's all mounted up on the AVX mount. It's a lot of weight on there tonight and guiding looks terrible. Well the numbers look terrible but it's still guiding. But um, it's galaxy season. Moon is not as bright. We got two clear nights. So I'm going after some galaxies. So what I'm going after the first one is this galaxy is right by the Big Dipper. It's called NGC 3184. Never got this galaxy before, but I'm trying it now. Let's see what it looks like on a medium stretch. You can kind of see it right here. So we'll see how it turns out after all these frames and everything. Oops, I click on the wrong thing. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm doing roughly uh, five hours, almost six hours on this one galaxy because right around two o'clock in the morning, NGC 4565, the Needle Galaxy, will be in view. So I'm going to try that with the 8SC. I did this galaxy in the past with my 80mm refractor. It came out pretty good, pretty okay. But I'm going to try it with the 8SC. I mean, I know I don't have an autofocus, so I use my batten off mask, and I got all my filters pretty much, they pretty much are all the same as far as focus. So I'm trying to see how everything's going to turn out. I know it's not going to be the best because you get a lot of curvature on the edge of this, uh, the mirror with the Celestron 8SC. So it's not going to be as tight, I'm thinking, but hey, I've got to go with it because I'm using my 8SC because uh, actually I have just sold my Skywatcher ED80, the 80 millimeter doublet refractor, just sold it on Cloudy Nights. Had like five people, once I posted it, five people contacted me trying to get it. So it's gone, it's sold, it just shipped it out today. It's going to, I think, Minnesota, I think. Yeah, I can't remember. Either way, it's gone. And I'm finally making my mind up. I'm going after a triplet. Haven't picked one out yet, so I'm looking at either the uh, Orion uh, carbon fiber triplet or the Explorer Scientific carbon fiber triplet. Both of them are 80 millimeters, about the same weight. I can't decide which one to get, which one is better. Are they all the same? I don't know. Uh, just from reading everything, it looks like pretty much the same because either way, I'm not going to use the focus that it came with it. I already have my Moonlight autofocus. I just need to get a new flange to adapt to it and use the same autofocuser. So I can't decide which one I'm going to get. I don't know. I can't seem to find any comparison videos or anything like that. I mean, I might just go with the Explorer Scientific and see how it is. Either way, that's my guy. It looks terrible. I'm almost embarrassed to show it. Uh, uh, 1.42, 1.39. That's AVX. You know, it's trying to hold down. Right now, the telescope is pointed pretty much straight up at the Meridian right now. If you look right here, I have a Meridian flip at 11.14 p.m. It is now 11.02 p.m. So with less than 15 minutes, it's going to do a flip. So that's probably why the guiding numbers are real bad because it's pointed straight up. It looks crazy when I look outside and a huge dew shields on the front. But either way, we'll see how it turns out. Um, it's going to run to about 2 in the morning. So just finished my green. Well, my uh, red filter just switched to green. Let's see how green looks after 20 some seconds. Okay, here's green. Green actually looks pretty good. I'll zoom in on it a little bit. Still kind of hard to see the galaxy in its arms. Hopefully everything comes out decent. But anyway, I'm getting ready to get to bed. It's 11.03. Actually, I'm going to wait till the meridian flip happens. If everything's pretty much centered, I'm getting into bed. And around 2, a little after 2 in the morning, uh, the automation should kick in and it should switch over to the needle galaxy. Hopefully, it clears my tree, well, my neighbor's tree in the backyard, just enough where it gets get this target in view. Keep your fingers crossed. All right. Also, just want to add that um, that same night, around 2.30 in the morning, the uh, telescope slew to the Needle Galaxy, and everything ran successfully for about, I only did about two, maybe two and a half hours of data on that one before it was like maybe 5.40 in the morning. So by that time, uh, the constellations dipping down real low but uh did about two and a half hours and this is how the needle galaxy came out right here let me uh, just make it a little bigger i'm going to put a picture of it in the, in the video so i'm not sure how it's going to look on just this laptop screen because i process it on my main computer but actually the a to c brought out more details than i expected you know it's only be about two two and a half hours of this galaxy so it looks pretty good